So in this video, we are going to learn how to auto-generate images from text using AI. So this is an amazing automation guys and in this automation, we are just going to enter some text as a new row in a Google Sheet. And on that basis, what text we enter, using artificial intelligence platform like OpenAI, we are going to generate some images. And at last, we are also going to update the links and the URLs of the images into the same row in a Google Sheet as a new cell. Now guys, in this automation, what kind of text you enter in your Google Sheet on that basis using artificial intelligence, we are going to generate new images. So how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on PabliConnex dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of PabliConnect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free PabliConnect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give your workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Sheets to open AI text to image. And then just click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is let's suppose take an example of Google Sheet. We are adding some text in our Google Sheet and according to this automation guys, whenever we add a new row of text in Google Sheet, we want to create or generate some images using artificial intelligence and get the image URL in the Google Sheet itself. This is what we are going to do in this automation workflow. And to create or generate images using artificial intelligence, we are going to use OpenAI. So the workflow is going to be, we get the data from Google Sheet, then using OpenAI, we are going to generate a new image using the text we enter in the Google Sheet row, and then we are going to update the link of that generated image using AI into the same Google Sheet in front of it. Now let's begin over here. Now here in trigger window in choose app, search for Google Sheets. Select Google Sheets. And then in the action event from the drop down, select new or updated spreadsheet row. So guys, in this video, I have selected Google Sheet as a trigger application. But instead of this, you can use any other application as a trigger application and get the text from that application to set up this automation workflow. So guys, here after selecting a trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Google Sheet with Pavli Connect and get the text or the data or the new row data which we are adding in our Google Sheet as a new row inside our Pavli Connect workflow. And how you can do that? You just have to follow the help text given below over here. Just copy this webhook URL from here and go to the Google Sheet which you have created. After reaching to your Google Sheet, just go to extensions, add-ons and click on get add-ons. After clicking on get add-ons, we will reach to Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in search app, we have to search for Pabli Connect Webhooks, P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pabli Connect Webhooks. And as you can see, Pabli Connect Webhooks, this add-on is already installed in my Google Sheets. You just have to install the same add-on into your own Google Sheets account. And after that, just refresh your Google Sheet once. This is a very important step. And after refreshing our Google Sheet, once again go to extensions, and this time you can see Pavli Connect Webhooks. This add-on can be seen over here. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. After clicking on Initial Setup, here you can see that this box appears in front of us. And it is basically asking us three things. First one is the selected sheet. Second one is the webhook URL. And third one is the trigger column. So in selected sheet, by default, it has selected sheet one. Because right now in this Google Sheet, I have only one sheet named as Sheet1. Then after that, it is asking us for the webhook URL. Now here guys, in this webhook URL, we have to paste the same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. And at last, it is asking us for the trigger column. Now guys, here you must be thinking, what is this trigger column? So trigger column is basically the last data entry column of our Google Sheet. For example, let's see in the background that column B will be my trigger column for this Google Sheet because it is the last column in which my data exists. So as we enter the data in a new row till our trigger column, 
initially after entering the data in trigger column initially the details or the data of that complete row will be sent to pavli connect and also guys here in column c after converting or after generating the image from the text we enter we are going to update the url of the image so that is why column b will be our trigger column so let's select b and then click on this send test after clicking on send test it is showing us test data sent successfully means the data of the first row after the headers is been sent to pavli connect so let's check it we will get back to pavli connect and yes guys here in our pavli connect workflow we can see that we have received some response and in this response you can see the details of the same row we have the same text and also the same date so here we have created two columns column a and column b and column b was our trigger column so data till column b of data of column a and column b are now sent to pavli connect after this just click on the submit button and it is configured successfully then once again go to extensions pavli connect webworks and this time you just have to select this send on event option by selecting send on event we are telling this add on we are telling this google sheet that whenever the data in a new row till our trigger column is added immediately send or instantly send that same data to pavli connect so here guys we have successfully completed the step 1 of this automation we have received the text from our google sheet in our pavli connect workflow now guys in step 2 using this text we have to generate some image using artificial intelligence so for that we are going to use open ai Now to use it, just scroll down, come to our action window, and here in Choose App, search for Open AI. After this, an action event from the drop down, select the action event as Generate Image. Click on Connect, and select Add New Connection. So here, guys, we have to connect our Open AI account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key of our Open AI account. Now to get this token guys this API token we just have to go to our open AI account and after reaching to your open AI account on the right side click on this personal option and click on view API key after clicking on view API key you can see a list of all the API keys you have in your open AI account if you don't have one just click on this create new secret key button and here you can see the API key just copy it from here go to pavli connect and paste it over here and then just click on save And now we can see that our open ai account gets connected with pavli connect after making this connection the first thing it asks us is the prompt that what is the prompt what is the text who from whom we want to generate a image so we have received the prompt we have entered the prompt and received the text over here from google sheet so here we have entered some text and it is here in pavli connect and we have to basically map the same response of prompt or text over here in this field and guys the process of mapping is very simple Simply click on this field and in the drop down below from the Google Sheet responses select the response of your prompt or text and map it over here. Then the next thing it asks us is number of images to be generated. That how many images you want to generate using this prompt. So let's take an example of one I just want to generate one image so I have entered one over here. If you want to generate multiple images as well you can enter the number over here as well. Then it is asking us size. So in the drop down below we have three different size that in which size you want the newly generated image to be so i want it to be 1024 cross 1024 of size so after selecting all of these details just click on save and send test request and after clicking on save and send test request here you can see that we have received the response and in this response we have received an image url just copy this url from here go to a new tab and paste it over here And after pasting it, we will see this is the same image, guys, whose prompt we have given over here. So we have entered the prompt, entered the text as Earth from space, and we have received the image for the same. Instead of this, if we enter some other prompt, we will get the image for the same text as well. For example, if I enter a prompt as horse in desert, and then let's click on this Save and Send Test Request button once again. and once again we have received a image url let's open this image in a new tab and here you can see the same image once again so we have entered the prompt as horse in desert and we have uh, received an image we have generated an image using artificial intelligence for the same so in this way whatever text whatever prompt you enter over here for the same prompt artificial intelligence platform like openai generates an image and give it to us 
So let's clear it. Let's map our response of Google Sheet and generate the image. So usually it happens that every time we hit save and send test request, every time we give this prompt to the open AI, we will get a new image. So let's paste this image and you can see it is not the exactly the same image which it has given to us earlier. So every time it generates a new image. Now guys, the step two of setting up this automation is also completed. We have generated the image using artificial intelligence. And now in step three, we just have to update this image URL over here in our Google Sheet in this same row. So with the text, uh, the row in which we have entered the prompt, the text in front of it, we all just want to update the image URL. For that, just scroll down, click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, search for Google Sheets once again. Select Google Sheets. Then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as update cell. Just scroll down and select the action event as update cell value. Click on connect and select add new connection. After this, we just have to connect our Google Sheets account once again with Pavli Connect. And this time to make this connection, click on this sign in with Google button, select your Google Sheets account, scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our Google Sheets account will get connected with Pavli Connect once again. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is to select the spreadsheet that in which spreadsheet we want to update this cell, update this data. And in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the spreadsheets which we have created in our Google Sheets account can be seen over here. Out of which we want to update the data in this spreadsheet named as text to image. So from the drop down, we are going to select the same spreadsheet. Then it is asking us to select the sheet. So as we all know, we just have only one sheet in this spreadsheet named as sheet one. That is why here we can see sheet one. Just select it. Then it is asking me for the range that what is the range of the cell in which you want to update this data or update this link. So here guys, we have this cell as we want to update the data in the cell. So C2 is the range. But guys, every time we enter a new prompt, the column num name like column C is going to be the same but the row number is going to keep on changing for every new row. So when we have received the response from Google Sheet in our trigger window, we have received the row number. So here we have the row index that of which row this response is of from Google Sheet. So what we have to do to enter the range like column number or column name is being basically going to be the same. So we are going to manually enter the column as column C or whatever column you have. And from the trigger responses of Google Sheet, we are going to map the row index. So whatever row we generate the image, so for whatever row the image has been generated, in front of that same row in column C, the image URL will be updated. After entering the range, here we have to enter the value. That what is the value, what is the text which we want to update. So we want to update the value as this URL which we have received from OpenAI of the newly generated image. So let's map this response of URL over here in value. Just click here. And from the drop down below from open your responses, select the response of URL and map it over here. And after this, just click on save and send test request. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, here we can see that we have received some response and this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the URL which we have mapped over here has been added into a Google sheet in this same cell. So let's check it. We'll go to a Google sheet account. And yes, guys, here you can see that we have the same URL. And when you, we open this URL, we will see this is the same image which we have generated using artificial intelligence open AI. Now, guys, we can see that the automation workflow which we have created is working perfectly fine. So we have successfully created this automation. And after this, let's test this automation once in real time. For example, in this Google Sheet, let's enter the same date over here. And this time I'm going to change the prompt. So let's enter the prompt as watch on the wall. So this is just a random prompt and it is done. So just now in a new row in our Google Sheet, we have entered the date and the prompt over here. And we will see automatically an image URL has been updated in the next column in front of it. When we click on this link, guys, we will see that we have an image generated from artificial intelligence for the prompt which we have given. So we have given the prompt as watch on the wall and for the same here you can see that using artificial intelligence we have generated the image. Now this means guys the automation workflow which we have created is working perfectly fine. 
you just have to keep on adding the text, the prompt into your Google Sheet in the new row and automatically the image will be generated. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.